Hey, my name is Gitas. I'm a UX and product designer. And in this video, I'll talk about how I transitioned from office work to working remotely and running my own business. After working for almost a year as a full-time employee, I managed to move back to Lithuania and start working remotely. And then after a few months, a former colleague offered a position, a remote position working for a Norwegian company. And instead of joining them as a employee, I suggested to join them as a contractor, which meant that now I could establish my own company and work from my company with them. And that really was the first step of building my own company and starting to work with new clients. Starting a company was a bit daunting initially, as I wasn't sure about the legal aspects and the paperwork involved. But with some help, I was able to navigate it. I started working with clients in the UK and gradually expanded to working with clients in Norway, Spain, Italy, and now mainly in the US. The main motivation behind this was to find bigger and more impactful projects. One of the biggest challenges was that most clients were in different time zone, but I found that having up to four hour overlap, like working with clients in New York worked pretty well for us. Today's technology offers tools like Figma and Slack that allows us to work more effectively asynchronously. Uh, this means that I can finish my work and hand it over to the team in the US who can review and provide feedback while I'm sleeping. This way we can work around the clock. Our team of four is dedicated to making the most useful and engaging designs possible. Indre is our go-to UI and UX designer bringing a unique perspective and a love for environment to every project. Adele is our copywriting and UX writing expert, crafting words that are both kind and honest. Rimantas is the creative behind our YouTube channel, always behind the camera or in the editing room, making sure our videos stand out. And then there's me. Uh, I spend most of my time working on a business and searching for new projects, but I also love getting my hands dirty by working as a product designer and a consultant. We all enjoy good coffee, freedom to work remotely and having fun while we work. That's what makes our team so passionate about what we do and the people we work with. As I gained more experience and got better at finding clients, which took time, I realized that I could maintain a satisfactory level of stability and afford a new team member. We currently have a team of four and we plan to hire more as the business grows. At first, company is really nothing more but just some papers in a drawer. And it's really worth to have that in mind because all you need to do is sort out some legal uh, aspects of the business in your country and then you pretty much have a business. Get some clients in and start working, start growing, employ new people and it will take a bit of time but in a few years or so I'm sure that you'll have your own business as well. So that's my story. I hope that by sharing my experiences and lessons that I learned along the way, I can inspire you to pursue a career in a remote work and have a fulfilling and interesting lifestyle. Thanks for watching.